Hey there, Pete again, legal clinic as usual, questions and answers. Please, I want to assure you of confidence and also trust because we are committed to privacy rights. Send us your questions, send us your situation, your legal concern or the concern about justice. Today, I want to talk about a social fact which is a story told to us by one of our good viewers. I would refer to the man as X and to the lady as Y. X and Y stayed in union for seven years. During the seven years, they got three beautiful children, two girls and one boy. During the period of seven years staying together, in Nairobi, Mr. X secured a job for Mrs. Y. And Mr. X happened to lose his job and got to settle down with self-employment as a carpenter. Yet still, he could feed his family very well, according to the story. He could still send his children to school and he could still pay rent. He even managed to give or to buy for Mrs. A Y a mobile smartphone. Mrs. Y developed a habit of chatting, chatting, chatting. Sometimes the chatting could go till late in the night. Mr. X, one evening, got concerned and moved to Mrs. Y, asking what she was chatting about. After a short struggle, the smartphone got broken. Mrs. Y reached out to her small mobile phone, which was inside her bag. She called her brother the same evening, who came very fast in a saloon car, picked her and the three children. Mr. X reported the matter to the nearest police station. The police intervened, called Mrs. Y, but no solution. Mr. X did not give up, did not stop there. He moved this time round to the nearby church where him and her were attending services. The pastor engaged Mrs. Y over the phone conversation. No turning back, no solution. This time round, Mr. X decided to go to the nearest church where his brother-in-law, <clears throat> the brother to the wife, were living. And he talked to the pastor there and no solution. Still desperate and in need to bring back Mrs. Y and the three children he decided to go to the house where they were living. They gave him cold reception. He was asked why he had to go there and he was warned not to step there anymore. Disappointed, Mr. X, since December 2018, has not seen Mrs. Y eye to eye and he has not seen the children eye to eye the question here is the right to access the children and also the right to enjoy his conjugal rights this is a, not an easy question to handle it is a matter of social justice, it's a matter that entails 
more than what the written law would cover. The Marriage Act in Kenya has defined the union in terms of marriage contract. The marriage contract is between two persons, and in this case, Mr. X and Mrs. Y. Children are not parties to the contract of marriage. Children do not belong to anyone. They don't belong to their parents. They don't belong to any institution. Children belong to the society. The answer that I would give to Mr. X is not that all matters must end up in court. Not that the judicial system has got answers or solution to all social problems and problems we do meet. Even your own wife does not belong to you. Actually, we are all born free and equal according to human rights. The, the question of Mrs. Y coming back to Mr. X is very, very difficult and fragile. The question that remains is the question about the third party. The third party that is affected are children. But children do not belong neither to Mr. X nor to Mrs. Y. We are proud and always we say, my children, I must see my children. But who says? The law doesn't give us this possibility or the right of ownership over human beings. This was banned through the slavery, banning slave trade and slavery banned also the question of owning human persons. Children are free and Mr. X, don't be desperate. You may one day see your children coming back to you. You don't have to force it. Mrs. Y, I can only tell you as I can tell any other person out there, let no technology divide our union in marriage or spoil our family relationships. And to this end, the question is, Mrs. Y seems to be comfortable feeding her children or feeding the children and catering for them. Mr. X is desperate and he needs immediate answer whether to forget all about this union and move ahead or to keep on pursuing. Thank you for watching. We'll be able again to provide you with some answers and responses as per the questions that are streaming to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, dear viewers.